we're finally ready to launch the SP 8x10 film processing tray. Um, some points that are worth noting. Uh, first of all, we have dropped the two sheet, that is two sheets of 8x10 concept. It was just getting too complicated. Every aspect of it was uh, getting messy and all the details are down below in the story if you want to read about how we reached that decision. Um, this allowed us to simplify things and rethink everything. And it really led to some uh, real epiphanies. Um, first of all, we realized or remembered that film is heavier than water. Um, if you've ever done any tray processing, you'll know this. Once you slide that sheet of film under the liquid, it stays under the liquid. Um, so you don't, what that means is we don't need a film palette or some sort of film holder. And we had some pretty clever ones. You know, we had some that weren't so clever. But we don't need a film holder to hold the film in place. Um, in fact, for like 5 by 7 we just need a simple divider in the tank to divide it into two compartments. Now the question is how do you keep or how do you get that film under the chemistry when you can't touch the film? And so for that we've been uh, working on some tabs. These are mounted on the front baffle and you can see if the film were to try to float up as you're filling the tank you know the edge of the film will just contact uh, those tabs and it will keep it under the liquid. Now the obvious question is, well, how well does that work? Is it going to give you even coverage when you're adding the developer? And the answer is, well, usually. Not a very comforting answer. But there's a really simple way to make sure that your film is always, always evenly coated. And that is to pre-wet the film with plain water. Um, once the film gets wet, you know, even this sheet here, this is probably 25 years old. Um, you can see how it's curled up. Uh, as soon as it gets wet, it flattens out. As soon as you drain the water, the surface tension will stick the film to the bottom of the tray. So when you add the developer, it flows evenly across the surface and you'll get great results. In fact, with this um, pre-wet technique, we're not even sure that you're going to need the tabs, um, though we're still experimenting with that. In fact, one of our other um, designs, we mounted the tabs to the uh, top of the lid. Uh, anyway, it's been a very long journey to get where we are. There have been a lot of twists and turns and detours and, and some dead ends, but we have finally reached what we believe is a truly elegant solution, and we hope that you'll support it and share it with others.